Okay, basic toffee style. I like pumpkin spice. And also, the juice. What's up with that? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> In the middle of the night, I just really enjoyed practice on my art. Hello there, my name is Joffrey, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a Pokemon Go cookies. You know what? Let's just start the recipe. Uh, my name is Joffrey Noguera. The way how you pronounce it is Joffre Nogueta. My job, well, I'm a pastry cook, so I work at a restaurant, David Burke Kitchen. It's located in Manhattan, specifically in Soho, next to Canal Street. And um, basically, I'm the line cook, the line pastry cook. So that meaning, I'm the one who prepares the plates that are served into the dining room. So any dessert plates that you see when it's my shift, obviously, um, it's something that I'm the one. Who, I'm the one who prepared it. I've worked at three locations. It's the first one was La Durée, the second one was the original Carlos Bakery, and now it's Dave and Burke. Why did I become a pastry chef? Well, that's actually a really good question because it's actually there's a story behind it. So um, when I was younger, I was very into art. So I I loved to draw. I was that kid that brought in Play-Doh until past senior year of high school. And I, yeah, so I love to draw. I love to play with Play-Doh, like mold into little characters and stuff like that. But um, during my eighth grade year, that's when everything hit because cause the summer before, my mother was in the hospital for the whole summer. So that, that really put me in a really sad mood. And then when I, when I was September, that's, the month that she passed away, so I fell into a depression. During the depression, I lost the ability to draw. I became less creative. So then um, freshman year of high school started, and one day I was like, you know what? I want to build a gingerbread. It was around, it was past Christmas, so all the gingerbread house kits were way percent off. Like, originally they were 15. I got them for 99 cents. So I decided like to just play with it, because I never made a gingerbread house before. So I started doing it and I found it was kind of fun. So I bought more kits and then there was up to a point that my whole refrigerator was filled with gingerbread houses because I was just having fun with it. So then gingerbread house stemmed off to baking cupcakes and decorating them and then doing cakes. So basically in short, like long story short, I transitioned my love for painting and art into pastry. Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a no-bake mini cake. There's going to be a list of ingredients and also tools that you'll need down below in the description. Let's start prepping. I do have a YouTube channel, it's called Joe for Hello, and there I do baking videos and also a somewhat form of comedy. I, I wouldn't consider myself a YouTuber because I, I consider myself more of a person that's putting out videos. So I do see it as a marketing way because it, I am putting myself out there, I'm putting my, I'm putting my identity out there, it's going to, I'm putting it out there to be well known like when a person does YouTube they do YouTube to make funny stuff funny content but also in the back of their head they also want to be known what would you consider or say to the queer gay oh you're talking about community? the LGBT ABCD GHIJK and Z community um I say we will one day rule the world my type of humor, um, it really bounces from different locations. For instance, I love dark humor, so very touchy subjects, what people will consider be triggered or be very offensive. I love that type of humor because people just need to learn how to laugh at stuff because it's a form of recovery because you're really taking the power out of the situation. In general, making fun of anything, a good thing. Like, for example, for me personally, let's say I die soon. I want people to make fun of my death. Like that is one thing I want to do. So let's say, God forbid, um, I die before any of my family members. Um, I want, like, let's say my sister. I want her to be like in her group of uh, friends or her classmates and they're like, oh, I want this in a weekend. I want this in a weekend. I just want my sister to just bluntly go like, oh yeah, I went to my brother's funeral this weekend. 
nothing else. In reality, I actually don't view myself as a baker. I view myself as a, a middle between an artist and a baker. So I consider myself, like one thing I always say to myself is like, I'm not a baker, I'm not an artist, I'm just a creator. I like to create things. I like just to make things. Like, um, so for me, it is almost playing as a kid, but in the job area, in a job workplace, uh, you're making you're making stuff that the head chef is head chef wants what they idea what they um, visualize so it's more helping them it's it's really more helping their their imagination come through for my YouTube channel when I have an idea I want to make it like let's say if I have an idea yeah I have an idea I want to make it YouTube is there for my creative outlet. This is a super simple, easy recipe, but also you might get diabetes afterwards. Don't blame me. Actually, you can blame 100% me. That's actually my end goal to give everyone diabetes. Because I'm an asshole.